All right, sometimes you buy a wrestling DVD and after you watch it, you're like, why the hell did you buy it? And this is an example for this DVD right here. Um, Slammiversary 2015 from TNA. Um, I guess the reason I bought this, I was, I was curious. You know, it's been a while since I've seen like a, a current TNA pay-per-view. Uh, I, I don't get Destination America, so I don't really keep track of the current um, programming. Um, but I was just curious, um, so I decided to buy this. And what was what was weird? Most of their DVDs are nineteen ninety nine, and they're like they're this December they were like on, uh, on sale. For some reason, this the the actual price of this one was, was twenty four ninety nine, and then they had the, like I guess a sale that it, it was selling for nineteen ninety nine, which I don't understand. When most this is like the only DVD they have that's like twenty that was um, original price was twenty four ninety nine. Uh, this was shot, you, know, you see the cover, very plain cover, and here's the back, it's, uh, one DVD in here. Uh, it was shot at the, uh, the Impact Zone in Atlanta, Florida. It really felt, watching it really felt like a, uh, you're watching Impact. It doesn't really feel like a paper, didn't feel like a pay-per-view. The, uh, what was weird about it is they take TV bef that was going to air, after this pay-per-view took place. So it was kind of weird. Um, it was almost like they were promoting the night, the, uh, the impact that was going to be taking place after this event. And, um, it was like, it was the, it was the one it, where, um, EC3 beat, uh, Kurt Angle for the, uh, for the title. So they were pretty much promoting th that event on that pay-per-view, which is, which is weird because you kind of use, you're supposed to use kind of like in wrestling, you, you use the TV to promote the pay-per-view. Um, first match, uh, X Division, um, Triple Threat Elimination, uh, we have Tigro, Uno, DJZ, and Manic. This was probably a really good match. Um, I guess what they're going to do with the X Division, they're trying to make it kind of like the Cruiserweight in WCW, where you have, like, younger, uh, Cruiserweight kind of, uh, wrestlers, um, opening the show, a fast-paced match, really good, it was really a good match. And then we have the, uh... Robbie Eve against Jesse uh, Goddard. Uh, I didn't even know the bromance broke up. Um, I don't know. I guess Robbie Eve, they're going to try to make him into a baby face. Uh, and then we have uh, Bram versus Matt Morgan. Wasn't really into that match. They made it into like a, a, like a brawl. Uh, no disqualification. I think Matt Morgan only came back for like that one shot and he was gone after. Uh, best match of the night was uh, Davy Richards versus Austin Aries, they, and they gave them a lot of time. I think they had about twenty minutes. And stipulation is whoever won that match got to pick the um, the stipulation for a tag match between Dirty Heels and the Wolves that had already took place. They already taped that match, but it was going to air at air the following um, Impact, which was weird. <laughs> um, Definitely a good match. It reminded me a lot of Ring of Honor because they, they they were from Ring of Honor. Uh, we have we have a tag team match for the knockouts, uh, the Dollhouse against Kong and Brook. Nothing really special there. Uh, another really good match: James Storm against Magnus. It was a um I guess a fall counts anywhere or no disqualification match because they fall all around the Impact Zone. Really good match. Definitely worth. I mean, if you buy the DVD, definitely that was probably that's probably gonna be your favorite match. And then we have like a tag team match. <laughs> Maybe, this, you know, we have EC3 and Tyrus against Lashley and Anderson. Didn't really, you know. And then the King of the Mountain match. Now, what was weird about this one, I guess, like, when this pay-per-view aired, um, they had an issue with, I guess, the sound or something. The match between Magnus and James Storm, they, uh, apparently when they were brawling in the backstage area, they must have, like, did something and, and the, the, the sound wasn't in sync or something. Something happened. Where, where, like, I guess a couple weeks later after this pay-per-view, they aired the King of the Mountain match on Impact. So what you what you see on here is the actual is the the, the um, Impact um, airing of the King of the Mountain match. So uh, that was kind of weird. So you can see you have like the announcers talking about commercial breaks and stuff. You got to watch it. The King of the Mountain match is so confusing. It's, it's weird and it wasn't really, I mean, the whole purpose of it, it's uh, you have to take the belt and you have to hang it up on the, kind of like a reverse of, of a ladder match. You have to hang the belt on the on the hook and it's just really, really weird, you know. And it, it was so predictable. This pay-per-view wasn't even pr promoted well. Um, you, we knew Jeff Jarrett was going to win the match. Uh, the, the announcers are horrible. 
uh, the Pope is the worst announcer. They had the worst announcers on T in TNA. The I mean, J t t today I, I could deal with today, but watching this pay per view, you, you wish that they could, they brought back Don West because it was so horrible. The, the announcer, the Pope shouldn't even they don't give a mic to the Pope because he's horrible as as as, a, as an announcer. Josh Matthews, I mean. Come on, they need, and when they go to Pop TV, get new announcers, get somebody new. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know who they're going to bring in, but like, uh, okay, Mike Tanay is okay, but the Pope, you need to get rid of him. I would have preferred, I mean, Taz was even better than than the Pope. The Pope made no sense. He made the, all these things. I don't know. I mean, it, is, it is really bad. Really bad announcing. Uh... I mean, for me, I, I like to collect certain pay-per-views for TNA. Like, I, I like the Bound for Glories, the the lockdowns. I have uh, two Slammiversaries, so you know what? Add to the collection. Um, but definitely, I, I would skip this one <laughs> and and not even bother. But if you have a collection going on, uh, just, just watch it. <laughs> Let me know if you do watch it. Leave a comment. It's It was a really bad pay-per-view.